Hello everyone, Zephy here. Welcome to another Operator Primer. As the title says, this week we are going to cover Frost. Frost is a trap-based defensive operator, along the lines of Capcan and Legion. She has been added during Operation Black Ice, a way more simpler time than current year. And it shows in her signature gadget. The Welcome while not Persian, those rugs sure are nice to have for all aspiring interior designers, since they instantly injure all attacker operators that come into contact with them. She can be played as either an anchor or a roamer, placing her welcome mat on site or on the way to site, depending on how the player wants to utilize her ability. When it comes to defenders, she is a very niche operator, not on levels of someone like Castle or Clash, but still not as popular as someone like Bandit or Jaeger. That does not mean that Frost has no applied usages, far from it. It's just that her success is entirely proportional to attacker's failure, even more so than Kavera's. And just like Kavera, Frost has access to some very peculiar weapon options. The 9mm C1, aka the Sterling SMG, has an abysmally slow fire rate, but very low recoil to compensate. It does deal a ton of damage per shot, a whole 45 in fact, but that doesn't really mean much when people can run in between your shots. And when it comes to attachments, it's even weirder, not having access to any recoil reducing attachments and also not having access to the holographic sight? It's a strange gun and you're essentially stuck with using an angle grip, extended barrel and one of the other two optics. I mean, you can also use the suppressor if you want, since this gun deals a ton of damage per shot by itself, it's, it's completely up to you, yeah. But, but, but still, why? This gun just has so many questions attached to it, why does it not have access to the holographic? Why does a 9mm SMG deal more damage per shot than most assault rifles? Why does a special forces operator in 2019 use a Korean War era SMG? What? <sighs> For her other weapon options, Frost has the Super 90 shotgun and the MK1 9mm pistol. The Super 90, unlike the other shotgun that has Super in its name, isn't complete trash and actually deals decent damage for a semi-auto shotgun. But in a game where headshots are one-hit kills, I would personally pick the SMG. If you can ambush the enemy though, that's a whole nother story. The pistol's alright, has a good side picture, can be a decent finishing weapon in case you need to reload, which you probably won't since both of your primaries already have great max sizes, but still, it does the job of a secondary weapon quite well. For her secondary gadgets, Frost has access to barbed wire and the bulletproof camera. Barbed wire is a great gadget, very useful at slowing down the enemy and making them easier to kill. You can try to hide frost mats in barbed wire, but that doesn't really work out all that well in my experience. Place the wire in common choke points like stairs or long hallways for maximum effectiveness. The bulletproof camera though is a much different beast, providing your entire team with great intel and nice sightlines. Like I have mentioned in the mute video, the best placements are in very long hallways and open areas, for maximum sideline coverage. I have Trap operators are a weird bunch. If I were to describe them with 4 wards each, Capcan would be medium risk high reward, Legion would be low risk medium reward and Frost would be high risk very high reward. So what I'm saying is, basically if you have a gambling addiction, Frost would be right up your alley. But that doesn't mean that Frost is entirely dependent on RNG. There are definitely some ways to increase the possibilities of your enemies getting caught in the Frost mats. Now at this point, everyone knows about the Frost mat behind the window trick. And so people will probably pre-fire the welcome mats while vaulting. To counter this, you can try to put two Frost mats under a window. Even if one of them gets destroyed, the other one will probably not. You can also try putting welcome mats behind corners or in common planting spots on bomb. If the enemy is in a hurry, they might not have the time to destroy the welcome mats and you will get an easy kill and possibly even win the round. Another way is placing the welcome mats in the most random spots possible. Not middle of hallway level of random, since this way they are just very easy to spot and destroy, but more of a safe cover while droning kind of random. You can also try putting welcome mats behind rotation holes your roamers made with their impact grenades. If they will be followed by the attackers chasing a frag, well, they probably won't be expecting a frost mat on the way to catching an annoying alibi. Hell, anything vaultable will work. If you think that an enemy will vault somewhere without giving it a second thought, then placing a welcome mat there might be a good idea. Placing frost mats on tops of staircases is also a decent idea, since noticing them this way is very difficult for anyone who will be aiming from bottom up. You can also try to team up with your fellow castle when placing welcome mats on windows. People rarely expect a frost mat right under a castle armor panel. Also, if the only way to get through a window is to repel into it, the person vaulting has much less time to pre-fire the welcome mat. One thing frost is very good at countering is rushes and shields, so if those annoying blitz and ash mains just keep getting on your nerves, well, frost is your gal. Being a trap-based operator, she is best utilized when the player communicates. Where did the trap go off? 
Was the carrier down? All of this information is incredibly useful to your teammates, so don't hesitate to use your microphone. For further research, I highly recommend Chaos X... Chaos X as Frost Math Placement Guides. Link in the description. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. For more operator guides of the similar nature, click on the eye icon in the top right corner to check out my other operator primers. The next operator I'll be covering is good old body hard breacher, Thermite. So stay tuned. And don't forget, communication is key. Good luck and have a nice day.